Today we're going to show you how to install Boost Auto Parts 4th Gen Wireless Power Folding Tow Mirrors on your 2nd Gen Dodge Ram truck. Our wireless power folding upgrade allows you to add power fold to your vehicle without the need to run additional wires across the dash. With this video, add power fold to your truck with less than 30 minutes per side. This specific procedure is for 1994-2001 to 2001 Dodge Ram 1500 trucks and 1994-2002 to 2002 Dodge Ram 25 and 3500 trucks. If you purchase manual folding mirrors or our wired power fold upgrade instead of the wireless power fold upgrade from Boost Auto Parts, reference a separate Boost Auto Parts video. The first thing you want to do is remove the door panel. To start, we're going to remove this Phillips head screw holding in the top corner trim piece. Then working in the door grab, unscrew the two Phillips head screws. Next, unbolt the door lever. It's held in with one Phillips head screw. You may have to angle the door lever and slightly pull it up in order to access this screw. Next, working your way around the door panel with a trim tool, pry the door panel out and unlatch it. Then you can simply lift up and pull the door panel off the door, making sure to clear the door lock lever. Then disconnect this white connector for your power adjust switch. Next, unplug the window switch connector. The tab to release the connector is on top, so you'll want to press this down and just pull back. Now you can fully remove the door panel from the door. Next, unplug your factory mirror connector. Then remove the three nuts holding the mirror on the truck and remove the mirror from the vehicle. When removing the mirror, you'll have a rubber grommet on the harness that's holding this to the truck. You may have to just slightly push to dislodge this. Now on your new mirrors provided by Boost Auto Parts, you'll have this metal plate bolted on with the nuts included in your kit. Just unbolt these nuts and remove it. Then on the back side of the metal mounting bracket, you'll find this foam piece with a piece of adhesive. Remove the adhesive and put the adhesive side facing down against the metal bracket like we show here. Now leaving the metal bracket off the mirror, mount the mirror to the vehicle. Slide both harnesses through the opening, being careful not to pinch any wires. Once you have the mirror studs lined up and the mirror fully seated, you want to grab this rubber grommet and pull it into the cab of the truck till it locks in place. While supporting the mirror from the other side, feed the harness through the bracket and slide the bracket up onto the mirror studs so that you can mount the mirror to the vehicle. Next, while supporting the mirror, fully install your mirror onto the vehicle using the included nuts in the Boost Auto Parts kit. Then plug your new Boost Auto Parts mirrors into the connector for the mirrors on your door. Now depending on the year of your truck, you may have this adapter harness included in the Boost Auto Parts kit. You can plug it in if it's not already plugged in. It only is needed for some model year vehicles. Your installation procedure will still be the same. For these older applications, you also have a black wire that's coming out of this adapter harness. You just need to ground this out to a good body ground. We recommend grounding this out inside the cab as sometimes the door is not a sufficient ground. This only applies to older vehicles which have this three pin connector. Included with your mirror should be a secondary wiring harness. You will have a varying amount of wires in here depending on the options on your mirrors. In this case, the mirrors are equipped with running light and signal or a switchback function. So there's an orange and blue wire, but again, you may have a varying amount of wires depending on your exact mirror configuration. Plug that in. And just work the door boot out. It's just a grommet style so you can just do it by hand. Route the wires down where the existing wires are and grab them down at the door jam area. Carefully pull through the slack being careful not to chafe any of the wires. To release the cab side of the door harness, you need to use a 90 degree pick. There's a latch in all four corners, so you'll just kind of work in all four corners releasing that latch, and then the entire body of the connector will come out. Now unplug the two connectors. There's just a tab, and then you can slide the connector straight out. Release these connectors from the body. There's just a little latch right here. You'll just pull that up a little bit, and then the connector will slide out. And do that with both of them. Now take a firm piece of metal, in this case we're using a straightened out coat hanger, and go ahead and run through the plastic as well as the rubber boot straight over here. So that it comes out on the other side so that the wires can be fished through. Tape the wires to the coat hanger very firmly with some electrical tape. Then pull your wire straight on through. 
that the wires come with it and pull all your slack, being careful not to chafe the wires. Remove this trim bezel. There's just a couple clips holding it on and it latches at the front down there. So just slide it out. Take your straighten out metal piece and route it into the cab. We've left the wires tied to the end of it with the electrical tape, so just pull it straight in. Now the installation for the passenger side is the exact same as the driver's side, so we're not showing that, but basically just get your wires into the cab. You can see we ran the passenger wires over to the driver's side right here, and they're just meeting down here in the kick panel. Now the orange wire, if equipped, is going to be your running light. The blue wires are for the turn signals. Do not splice the blue wires together. Those need to stay separate as those are the individual turn signals for each side. However, you can splice the two orange wires together in the driver kick panel if you just want to run one up. Otherwise, you can run both of them up and through. So just go ahead and secure your wires up with zip ties. Now we need to run the running light and turn signal wires to the underhood area. You can see if we come up straight down here, we're going to be going through this grommet straight up at the top over here. And run straight through that grommet and tape your wires to the coat hanger. And we're actually going to push it through this grommet straight up over here. Pull the wire straight on through into the underhood area. Your orange running light wire will be tapped at the driver's side headlight and your turn signals need to be tapped at each independent headlight. You can identify the passenger side wire because it is going to be the shorter blue wire. So the shorter blue wire will run over to the passenger side headlight and then the orange and blue wire that are longer are going to go to the driver's side headlight. Remove the headlight. The procedure is the same on the driver and the passenger side. There's three screws or bolts holding it on. You can see if you look over in here, you have one straight up over here one down over here where we have the wrench on and then straight over here there's one right down over there so we'll go ahead and remove those and then the headlight just has one clip holding it on that can be released now some vehicles also have an additional threaded rod which comes straight through to here so you may need to come through the top and just remove the nut that's on the back of what you're seeing is removed here remove the headlight now the wires we're going to be working with are these three wires right over here which are going to your park and turn signal. So the wire colors are the same on the driver and the passenger side. The running light wire is going to be the black wire with yellow tracer. And the turn signal wire is going to be the, the solid tan wire on each side. So you're going to tap your blue wire to the solid tan wire on each side. And then on the driver's side you're going to tap the running light orange wire if equipped onto the black wire with yellow tracer using the fusible taps provided by Boost Auto Parts. So the first thing we're going to tap onto is going to be pin 2 of the park light. This is going to be the black wire with yellow tracer. So we're going to go ahead and take our T-tap provided by Boost Auto Parts, place the wire into the jaws of the T-tap and fold it over. This is for the running light. You'll squeeze it until you feel it click and if necessary you can use some pliers. So again, running light on a pin to the black wire with yellow tracer. Now we're going to go ahead and take the orange wire, or both orange wires if you ran both up. We're going to go ahead and strip the end off. And then we're going to go ahead and take that orange wire and place it into the fusible disconnect provided by Boost Auto Parts. Then we'll go ahead and crimp, the, crimp it down. Now these are heat shrink butt connectors, so you can apply some heat and shrink that down. Once you've done that, then you're just going to go ahead and take the disconnect and slide it into the T-tap on the black wire with yellow tracer. You want to make sure the metal from the disconnect slides directly into the T-tap and that the disconnect slides all the way forward. Now for the turn signal, which is going to be the blue wire, it is going to be tapping onto pin 3, which on both the driver and the passenger side should be a solid tan wire. So again, it's pin 3. The Boost Auto Parts mirrors are going to utilize a blue wire for turn signal. So go ahead and strip the blue wire. Now this procedure again is the same on the driver and passenger side so we're just going to show you on one side here place it into the butt connector on the feasible tap provided by boost auto parts and then you'll go ahead and crimp that down you can go ahead and heat shrink them down and then again this is going to be tapping onto pin 3 which is the solid tan wire so you can see we've located the solid tan wire going to pin 3 here you can use some pliers to help you squeeze it so that is the turn signal on pin 3 and then you can just go ahead and plug your disconnect directly into the T-tap, making sure the metal from the disconnect slides all the way forward and that the metal slides directly down the middle of the T-tap. 
And just go ahead and place your headlights back into position and then you're going to replace the three bolts for each of them. If you add a nut on the back of the threaded rod, be sure to reinstall it. Now slip these connectors back into their location. You want to make sure that any wires you added are over in the corners, being sure not to pinch any of them. Plug the connectors back in. And clip the door jam connector back into place. Reinstall the trim piece. Place the door jam boot back into position, working around it with your hands. Now the next portion of this video will show you how to install the Boost Auto Parts Wireless Power Fold Upgrade Kit included with your purchase. This kit is for the driver's side and the passenger side. Inside your kit you'll have two bags. One bag will have two harnesses. This is the driver's side kit. And the other bag will have one harness. This is for the passenger side. Now on the driver's side, one of your harnesses will have two white connectors and one black connector. The other harness will have one large black connector two small black connectors, and two disconnects. For this procedure, we're going to start by working with the harness with the two disconnects. To install this harness, we're going to start using the T-taps in your Boost Auto Parts kit. Using a blue T-tap from your kit, you're going to tap onto the tan wire located at the window and door lock switch connector. Then, taking some pliers, you're going to squeeze the T-tap closed, making sure it latches. Then, taking the red wire with the disconnect on your Boost Auto Parts wireless harness, Plug it into the tan wire. Now, if your mirrors came with the adapter harness for early rams, you would have had to run that black ground wire. Taking a red T-tap from the wireless kit, you're going to install the T-tap onto this black ground wire inside the door. Now, if your mirrors did not come with the adapter, you'll tap onto the black with light green wire in the door lock window switch connector with a blue T-tap as shown here. You just clamp it down. Then take the black wire with the disconnect from your Boost Auto Parts harness and either plug it into the red T-tap you put on the ground wire for your adapter harness or the black with light green wire you put the blue T-tap on on your door lock and window switch. Now on the wireless harness you'll have two small black connectors. The small black connector with the orange wires will not be used on this application so you can just fold this down and disregard it. Then go ahead and plug in the two small black connectors with the blue and yellow wires, one going into the mirror, one going into the wireless harness. Then take the harness included in your Boost Auto Parts kit for the driver's side with the two white connectors and plug those into the mirror. These connectors are keyed and can only be plugged in one way. Next we're going to install the wireless module from the Boost Auto Parts kit. In the kit you're going to have two modules one for the driver's side and one for the passenger side. The one on the driver's side has two connectors on it, whereas the one for the passenger side only has one connector on it. Now you want to tie the wireless module up inside the door panel, somewhere where it will not pinch against the truck when you reinstall it. We're showing mounting the module here, but you can do it wherever is convenient. Just take the included zip ties in your kit and zip tie to the insulation inside the door, and then make sure to route the harnesses to the module so that they are up and out of the way of any objects on the door or door panel. Then repeat the wireless harness and module installation on the passenger side. The tap locations are the exact same as the driver's side. Next, plug the power adjust switch back into its corresponding connector. Then plug the door lock connector with the tab facing up back into its slot on the door. Next, plug the wireless harness into the wireless module. As shown here, there will be two connectors on the driver's side and one on the passenger side. On the driver's side, you cannot plug the connectors in incorrectly as they are keyed. Then finally, bring the door panel back up into position, making sure it clears the door lock lever, and then firmly press in around the door, making sure the tabs are lined up to snap it back into place. Next, reinstall the two Phillips head screws inside the door grab. Then reinstall the Phillips head screw holding the door handle into place. Finally reinstall the Phillips head screw holding the triangle trim piece in. Now you want to test any lighting features on the truck as well as the wireless power folding upgrade kit you just added. The next portion of this video will show you how to test the wireless functionality. This is shown on a GMC but the procedure is the exact same for your Dodge Ram. 
you'll just need to work your power adjust switch on your vehicle with the left left right right button sequence. To begin, start by activating the modules. Do this by pressing the left mirror adjust selector. Then, use the left left right right button sequence on the arrow pad to activate the modules. Once you hear two fast beeps, the module is activated. While the modules are activated, the mirror glass will not adjust. Once the modules are activated, you may power fold in the mirrors. Tap the up arrow to fold the mirror out, or tap the down arrow to fold the mirror in. You may see the passenger side mirror start folding slightly after the driver's side due to the modules communicating from side to side. To deactivate the mirror, you have two options. The first option would be to let the modules time out. If there is no activity for 10 seconds, the modules will automatically deactivate. You can also deactivate the modules manually by using the left left right right button sequence on the arrow pad. You'll hear three fast beeps once the modules are deactivated. Once the modules are deactivated, any left-hand mirror adjustment will be slightly delayed to prevent erratic module activation. And just like that, your installation is complete. To get all the parts shown in this video and more, check out our website at BoostAutoParts.com. Boost Auto Parts offers a wide range of tow mirrors, parts, and accessories for trucks and SUVs. Check us out at BoostAutoParts.com.